Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, as I've been going through through stuff, it, uh, looking to see what I still need for other projects. Uh, this is all 026 and 260 stuff that I've been uh, collecting ever since I built that last 260 mutt saw. Uh, I still don't think I got enough stuff to 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 build one. Yeah. Got a tub full of stuff down here. Uh, looks like I got a cover there. Got a previous cover there. Looks like I got covers. Got some flywheels, a coil. Uh, it's either a fuel or oil cap. Uh, let's see. 360. There. So yeah, I've got covers there plus. A few years back, my buddy bought a bunch of stuff at an auction, and all these covers were uh, in there too. So I'm set for just the boxes. We're going to start burning that. That's broke, but could be used in a pinch, I guess. So air filter covers for MS260. It looks like I'm, I'm set on. And uh, let's see here. That looks like MS 260 air filter. So I got an air filter, pretty grubby looking, but I found a carb. Looks like MS 260. I'm pretty sure this is the linkage for it. Uh, found that float around in my shed, that linkage. Sure looks like 260 linkage though. So I got carb linkage. I've got a brand new highway. Uh, it's the 44.7, so that'd be for the newer style uh, 026 and 260. So I got a piston and rings and everything here. So I got a new piston and rings. I have a brand new uh, muffler that's got the gasket floating around in, inside there. That's an actual OEM brand new uh, muffler I picked up on trade a while back. I found this piece that looks like it'll work. Uh, this gas tank is foobard. And I think I saved it because I think I need that piece, the tank vent, out of it. This cover is kind of wasted. Here's another back half of a muffler. Another back half of a muffler. I'm not seeing front halves of the mufflers so. though. That looks like 260, but it's missing a bunch of guts. Uh, right, right here. This is MS260, and the tank is missing the tank vent out of it. Oh, she's broke back here. It could be using a pinch, but looks like I'm going to have to try to find a tank. This got a flywheel on it, some of the chain brake pieces, but uh, I'll set that down there. This tank's foobard, so yeah, I don't, have, I don't have a good tank. Here's a 260. Rope rotor's missing the starter paw. Here's a 260. Rope rotor missing the starter paw. Missing parts, 260. Missing parts, 260. Well, this one's got a starter paw, so I could rob that out and put one of the other ones. So there right here. Here's I'm not sure what's I'm not sure what's going on here, but that looks like might be the I got an 026 one too. That one's complete, but the starter paws destroyed. So I'm thinking you know, we'll probably steal that rewind and the starter paw out of this uh, to make one. Throw this out here. What do we got here? Nothing. Looks like I got a good side cut. Well, it's got a crack here, but we're alright. I got a, looks like a farmer tech one here. 
I've got a set of, well, that's an 026 or 260 uh, air filter filler there. got an 026 top cover. Looks like you got a 026 air filter that's soaked in oil. It don't look too terribly bad. Uh, looks like I got two coils. Looks like 026 and 260 coil. Don't know what that carb is. Carb is what that carb is. Definitely don't know what this one is. Looks like it's got the other piece. It's probably the piece I need for this. Looks like it. So I don't see no more two sixty parts in this basket. Just a, looks like a bunch of one seventy carbs or something. So let's see here. I've got this good aftermarket 026 jug that looks pretty high quality that we could probably run that piston with. Uh, I do have an OEM one here that is an 026 uh, non pro model, but it's got a got a busted bridge. Oh yeah, that's that one that's got that big gouge in it right here. Yeah, that's junk. Uh, let's see here. This one is the one that's got a beautiful bore. But she's got a whole buttload of busted fins off. It's got an intake boot that we're going to need. So, that's, that's awesome. I do have some gaskets and a brand new set of bearings here for one. I'm going to put that piston in this box, probably that carbon linkage too, just so I don't lose it. Probably that. So, yeah, let's see here, what else I got? I got a handle, handlebar, whatever you want to call it. I got two different pieces of chain brakes. And then, well, this one's got a decent chain brake in it. That is MS260 and MS260. Let's set this down here. What is this one? This is an 026. Uh, how you can tell is it's got the screw in cap versus the flippy lid caps. Uh, let's see here. I got one here that's got a cylinder on it. I don't want to roll it over too much because it's grubby as it is. But that piston looks great there. Yeah, so it looks like, I think that's an OEM cylinder. So I got an OEM cylinder here. This is an MS260 as well. That's got another piece to the chain brake that's, that's missing. Uh, this one's got more of the bits and pieces. Brake band's missing and same with the spring. Uh, another MS260. With a bad crank. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. I still just don't have enough to, to build one. Uh, I'll have to do some scouring and see if I can find another. I either need an 026 gas tank or a 260 gas tank, I think. If I find an 026 one, we can use this set of cases and then we'll have matching gas and oil caps, or if I find a 260 one, we can pick the best case uh, out of here, which is looking like a toss-up. Probably, probably this one right here. This case don't look real bad either. Uh, so yeah, I'm still missing all the clutch stuff, the oil pump stuff. Still, I guess I'm going to have to box this stuff up until I find more parts. But, uh, I was hoping to go through. I'm just going to keep on pick, picking up this stuff as it comes along my way. And I think once I get uh, another one of these built, uh, I might save one crankcase. 
might save two crankcases. And then, uh, you know, like I might save this one depending if I don't use it or not, just because the 026 stuff's a little harder to find than the 260. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Still shy on parts, but got a lot of other parts. So, I don't know. I'll just box this stuff up and stuff it back in the shed. Maybe in a year or two I'll find more parts. But uh, I don't have the money to just go out and buy a whole bunch, bunch of parts. But when I go to build this one, I'm definitely splitting the cases, put new bearings, seals, gaskets in. I'm not, I'm not going to goof around with it. I don't, I don't know the story on a lot of these cases. but So, yeah, I got that pile of parts there and that tub of parts there full of 260 stuff. Well, all right, you guys take it easy uh have a good one if you guys got gas tank or the other bits and pieces that i'm missing uh get a hold of me let me know maybe we can work something out or something uh on facebook messenger there you guys take it easy and have a good one